Turning now to China's stock market, it posted its worst three-week decline in 23 years. The Shanghai index fell by more than 6 percent. Weeks of stimulus measures by Beijing have failed to stop a steep slide. The number of initial public offerings and the amount of capital raised from equity markets will now be reduced. Regulators say they will investigate suspected market manipulation and short selling. Nearly a quarter of investors say the value of their investments has fallen by over 50 percent this year. Many young Chinese jumped into the market when stocks were climbing, looking for quick returns. What many got instead was a hard lesson. What goes up must come down. Wu Haojun has the story. 30-year-old Christine now spends a lot of time staring at her phone, but not for Weibo or WeChat. By the minute, she's making or losing money in China's stock market. All that time, I wanted to invest because my salary wasn't enough for my lifestyle, and I wanted to have a better life. So I invested in the stock market. I didn't know at the time that those stocks would do so well and that the market would become a bull market. Christine is just one of a growing number of novice investors who began trading after the mainland stock market began raging late last year. Many are young, confident, and less risk-averse than their parents' generation. More and more young people are investing in the stock market because the market rose by almost 20 percent in just a couple of months around the beginning of the year. For young people, it's faster than making money from your salary. So there are more and more young people investing in the stock market. It's estimated that in May of this year alone, close to 600,000 new stock accounts were opened. A good portion of the account holders are young and had little to none prior experience in stock trading. And that's why they've been especially shocked by the nose dive stocks have done since mid-June. This week since Monday, I thought I was going to fall apart because I lost 35 percent of all my investments. But then I thought, I'll make it back. Is it realistic optimism on Christine's part or just false hope? Only time will tell. But there is a saying now going around China, if you see a friend constantly checking her phone, sweating at times, be kind to her. Treat her better because she's certainly getting no love from the stock market. Wu Hajing, CCTV.